Hello everybody. Uplift on the Reykjanes Peninsula in Iceland continues at a steady rate like it has been doing now for almost four months. A recent simulation done by our experts suggests an eruption in early March is still very likely, with the amount of magma being similar to the eruption on February 8th. Residents of Grindavík now have full access to their town and can stay there 24-7 so business activity can resume. Unfortunately, Grindavík isn't completely safe. Important areas have been examined, with all fissures being marked. People are advised not to wander into areas that haven't been analyzed, as the risk of falling into a fissure is present. Grindavík's infrastructure is also being worked on, with the main hot water pipe that was covered by lava during the January 14th eruption being fixed, meaning hot water pressure is now being restored. During the time in between eruptions, Grindavík's infrastructure will continue to be patched up, in hopes that the town will survive this uncertain period. The Svartsengi system isn't the only one showing off these days, as there's also something strange going on under Fagratasfjall. Is it gearing up for another eruption? Well, and let's check out the details. Beginning with Svartsengi. As mentioned, uplift continues at the same rate it's been on for the past four months, so we can expect this eruptive cycle to continue. That is, an eruption every 27 days or so. Now, on February 25th, it's been 16 days since the last eruption, which caused some chaos on the peninsula. That means the next eruption will likely occur sometime between March 6th and 13th. The amount of magma that is thought to have accumulated in the magma chamber since February 8th is around 6 million cubic meters, based on a simulation our experts conducted using GPS data in the area. The red line on the graph is the current accumulated volume, 12 days after the February 8th eruption. That puts it on par with what was seen between the second and third eruption, which is the yellow line, for the same time span. These simulations aren't 100% accurate, but give us an idea of what's going on. What they suggest is a decreasing trend in accumulation rates, after each eruption, which indicates that the influx of magma into the chamber under Svartsengi is slowing down. This decreasing trend is not seen straight of the GPS data, or the time between eruptions, but I think it would make sense that with decreasing influx, the time between eruptions would increase. What do you guys think? On to Fagradalsfjall. For some time now, earthquake activity in the western part of the Fagradalsfjall system has been elevated. It wouldn't be of much interest if it weren't for the clear structure that is easily noticeable when looking at an earthquake map. With a southwest to northeast trend, it matches the direction the faults lie in the area. This activity definitely looks like a magma dike is forming, although when looking at GPS stations in the vicinity, no uplift is present. So, what's going on? Well, it looks like the activity in the troublesome neighbor to the west is the cause, as there seems to be a direct correlation between earthquake activity there and the one under Fagradalsfjall. That is, when earthquake activity is centered in the north part of the dike that formed on November 10th in Svartsengi, there is a lot of earthquake activity under Fagradalsfjall, whereas when the earthquake activity is in the south end, it is almost non-existent. So, it doesn't look like Fagradalsfjall is gearing up for another eruption yet. I say yet, because based on the eruptive behavior of that system since 2021, there has been a much longer time between intrusions slash eruptions than seen in Svartsengi. There, intrusions have been occurring every 8 to 11 months, with 3 out of the 4 intrusions resulting in an eruption. The last eruption in Faradarsfjall was in July of 2023, which lasted for a month. That was around seven months ago, 
meaning we're closing in on the time where another intrusion would be expected. What do you think? Is Faradarsvat finished or will we see another peaceful and beautiful eruption? That is going to be it for this week. Going to be exciting to see if an eruption will occur before next Sunday. I just want to thank everyone who made it here. Definitely leave any speculations and questions in the comments. It's always fun to read them. Other than that, I just hope you enjoyed. Hope to see most of you in the next video. And thanks for watching.